Yo so. My name is Shiri and this is the anime kill count where we count the kills strictly in anime. The anime we're covering for today is Calamity of the Zombie Girl released in the summer of 2018. Calamity of the Zombie Girl is based on a light novel series with the same name written by Ryu Ikehata and illustrated by Hagane Surugi. An original net animation or ONA was produced by two studios called Gonsu and Stingray. This anime is about a group of five people calling themselves the Occult Research Club, breaking into the school's library to look for valuable treasures. What they find are two coffins. They open the coffins and found two mummies inside. One of them dig into the mummy's belly and found a red stone. The two mummies then comes back to life and search for the stolen stone. This video will contain spoilers, so heads up and enjoy this kill count. とにかくちょっと来なさい。あ、あ、はい、これ。お。はい、チーズ。ちょっと。何すんのよ。それでも男皆川皆川通信教育もうすぐ免許改伝石は誰が持っているのどこムカつくごめんごめん何でもなかったうんあ、あれかうっ<笑> The first kill entry in the anime is Miyake. He hit his head hard causing his brains to show and killing him instantly. The second kill entry in the anime is Azuma. I think Azuma is the one who suffered more in this anime. He got rejected by Yu Prusini and got himself killed after she twisted his head until it beheads him. The third kill entry in the anime is Abe. He gets hit by a flying toilet in the face and killed him instantly. The fourth kill entry in the anime is Yui. After a one-sided fight with Yupo Rosini, Yui met her end after getting her arm broken and getting her face planted into a rock. The fifth kill entry in the anime is Sayaka. She got killed when Mako threw a huge shard of glass straight to her forehead. The sixth kill entry in the anime is Shuichiro. He got killed after her own sister plunged her arm into his chest and grabbed his heart out. The seventh and final kill in the anime is Mako. Yupo Rosini killed her with a simple face crush using her bare hand. There's a total of 7 deaths in Calamity of the Zombie Girl. The kills consist of 4 men and 3 women. 
With a runtime of 79 minutes, the anime left us a kill on average about every 11.3 minutes. I'll give the king katana to max death. It was a simple face crush but it sure was hella satisfying seeing that crazy bitch die. The shabby kunai goes to Abby's death. He was killed by applying toilet, what a simple death. This anime is about stupid students breaking into their school to steal valuable treasures. I think they deserve what came upon them. But hey, I really like seeing stupid characters die in horror genres. I mean it won't be a fun horror film or animation without stupid characters making the plot interesting. I'll give this anime a D. I don't know, I just didn't enjoy this anime. Except for some parts, but still, it's an impressive anime. This anime arguably could have been better if it's a series. Most good anime have 12 to 25 episodes. If you're wondering about how the anime ends, I'll tell you. The anime ends after the battle with Mako. Yoporosini's face is still disoriented but she covered it with a cloth of some sort to hide her face. And that's it. They just shown Yoporosini and Alma conversing. That's it for today's anime kill count. Sorry guys if I can't upload more often. School just begun. Give this video a like and comment down the anime you want to see next. Oh yeah, we have a Discord now. I don't know how to manage it but I have a friend as a mod there. I'll put the link in the comment section. That's all. Thanks for watching. Sayonara.